Hey, in this episode, we're going to be re reviewing Moose Hunting 2022. Stay tuned. Hi, this is Tim and Dole. Welcome to Midwest Hunting and Outdoors by Two Dumbasses, a podcast about the outdoors, hunting, and being a steward of the land. Hey, if you like what these two dumbasses are doing, please hit the like button and subscribe today. Welcome to Midwest Hunting and Outdoors. We got a great episode here to talk about moose hunting 2022. And uh, before we get started, let's do some uh, intros. Uh, why don't you guys introduce yourselves, talk about your uh, outfitting. Um, I'm Nathan Bird, and this is my brother Marlon. And uh, we've been outfitting for a little while now, and uh, yeah, we like doing moose hunts. So, whereabouts are we located right now? Um, we are 30 minutes north of Loon Lake, Saskatchewan. So, how far are we from the Arctic Circle? No clue. A long ways. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we are way the heck up here. I can tell. You, I can tell you that for sure. So, as many many of our watchers are, they know I'm located in Iowa. And uh, just to give you guys an idea, it's about 26 plus hours to get up here. So, no small hoof, for sure. So, why don't you guys tell us about what some of the basic accommodations you guys provide for your hunters? Um, for hunters, we could have uh, wall tents. We could have uh, mobile trailers, camper trailers, stuff like that. We have hotels within 30 minutes. Um, so everything's everything can be comfortable for we can we can fit a uh, different range of hunters in here, you know, in age groups too, you know. And the size of hunters you can you know, or the group size can be up there, you know. Yeah. yeah. So what what types of uh, hunts do you guys typically guide for? Moose. Moose is your specialty. Moose and yeah. whitetail. Yeah. But moose is the is our specialty, yeah. All right, and so then what other animals do you have on your property? Uh, we have moose, black bear, elk, whitetail, wolves. That's about it. Now, if somebody wanted to hunt, let's say, elk, would you be able to help them out with yeah, something like we that? Could, we could fit elk hunters in our area. That's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. What, where, what province are we in, and then where, where are we at specifically? Where's your property at? We are considered west central Saskatchewan. Um, we are just along the belt of the boreal forest, and um, yeah, we're in, the, it's called Zone 68 North, is on the zoning map, but uh, yeah, we're just 30 minutes north of Loon Lake, and about 45 minutes from the Alberta border, and then about half hour north, there's some of the last roads on this side. And are we, are we considered being on Indian reservation ground? Yep, yeah. we're on, we're on uh, treaty land, yep, yeah. we're on Red Peasant First Nation, TLE land. That's awesome. I gotta say, I mean, it's been beautiful. You guys have been great hosts. I can't thank you. I mean, really, we are we were lucky to have you guys, and you know we've you know I mean that. Oh yeah. Uh, so, um, what caliber of gun? So if I'm gonna come out onto your property and we're gonna go moose hunting, what what caliber of gun do you guys recommend? Three hundred. Three hundred. Yeah. Three hundred Win Mag yeah. or. Weatherby or something along that nature. Yeah, Thirty caliber. Yeah. Thirty caliber. Plus. Okay, that's awesome. I just happen to have a three hundred wind mag, so uh, it worked great. Now your specialty is moose. Now, if I wanted to come here and can I shoot? Is there any restrictions on the mo on the bull size? Uh, no, we have no restriction on bull size. Our tags fill all the animals from white from mule deer, white tail. Bear, wolves, moose, elk. So, and there's no restriction on anything. You can, your multi species tags take care of everything. And you guys, but you guys are really great stewards for your ground. So, you guys have actually put in a, a rule that you don't want anybody taking any cows, no right? Cows, no cows, no, no producing cows, no, no future moose, just straight bulls. Yeah. Yep. And uh, just like I said, just amazing place. What's your favorite time of day to hunt, and why? I'd say uh, early morning, early morning about five, and in the evening about four thirty ish when you when you leave from camp, because that's when that's when they're actively moving. You know, catch them moving. Uh huh. Instead of cause during the day, they'll be bedded down inside the bushes and whatnot. And we're not done hunting yet, and we've got two bulls in camp already, and both of them were early morning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. 
what kind of range of animals, if we were to come here and hunt, what, what, what's the typical size of animals that you guys have from a moose perspective on your property? What Average moose would be 35 plus. Yeah, and they, they vary. Some some are tighter antlers from being, being in a bush lot. Some are a little bit wider. But uh, you can get, you see them 55, 60, you know, there's, there's big moose in there. Yeah, the ghost, right? The ghost, he's in here. <laughs> he's been seen. Yeah. <laughs> and the ghost, how big's the ghost? He's 60 inches. 60 inches. Yeah. So, I mean, that competes with an Alaskan. He's a big, he's a big guy. That's awesome. So, if I'm coming here, and like I said, I come from Iowa, and... The rut lasts from what what week to what week? September 20th, they start to move. September 25th, they'll start looking for their cow. By October 1st, they're breeding. And then it'll go right to the end of October. So if you were going to be telling your hunters, hey, if you were going to say, I want to pick the very best week to come out and hunt you know, in your area, what, what would you tell them? First week of October. Yeah. First week in October. Yeah, first week in October. And what makes that so special? They just finished their first cow, and they're just hot for the next one. They're just moving. Yeah. No matter what time of day, you'll find them. Will they be calling back to you? Yep. We have, come, about, come running very cool. we have about 60, 40 calling, so you know, you'll run into them 40% of the time, but then 60% of the time, they'll come. Oh. That's exciting. Uh, now, what type of weather, if we're coming in in October, what's the range of weather that we could expect to see when we come in? You can see plus 20s, warm days. To we're talking Celsius, right? Celsius to minus 10. To minus 10. And snow. And snow. Yeah, and snow. So be prepared. Be prepared, yeah. yeah. Let's talk success rates. Everybody likes to talk success rates. You know, people are going to spend some money. What, what, what are your typical success rates? When you come up here, it's hard to put a number on it, but I'd say we're in the 90s. 90s? We're in the 90s. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, yeah that's really good. Lastly, you know, hey, how, and so we're going to put this on here, but how could someone get a hold of you? Um, I have an email address, I have a phone number. Um, my email is birdman19 at live.com. And then my phone number is 306 441 882. Say that one more time 306. 306- Four four one triple eight two. All right. Uh, lastly, what what am I missing? You know, we we just covered a bunch of stuff. What are, what are we missing? There's enough space here for people to bring their own stuff, campers, quads, ATVs, whatever. And we recommend freezers and coolers to protect your meat. Yeah. Guaranteed. Guaranteed. And big game bags, multiple game bags, tarps, stuff like that. And then. Just be prepared to bring extra snacks when you're out on the trail. You're hunting a little bit longer, and you get you get a little more time in the wild. All right, and let's talk about your your 2023 fees. What's what's a what's it cost a hunter to come and hunt with you? With the multi species tag, it's a set rate at 6,500 American. Okay. And we have cappers available and tents available. Yep. Yeah. Awesome. Well, I tell you what, I can tell you for sure we've we've really enjoyed our time, and and uh, I'm and be honest with you and. I've, I've already rebooked, right? I've yeah. already rebooked with these guys for 2024. Yeah. Uh, you guys have been awesome hosts, and we are very thankful to have been with you. And, Thank you. And enjoyed my hunt. Awesome. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you. Right? Very glad to have Yeah, absolutely. So until next time, be safe, have fun, and get outdoors. Thanks for listening or watching our show. We have some exciting topics and guests coming up. We ask that you subscribe to our channel on YouTube and follow us on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. We look forward to hearing your suggestions for topics, questions, and comments. This is Two Dumbasses signing off. Until next time, be, be safe, safe, have, have fun, fun, and, and get, get outdoors. outdoors.